and all our colleagues were gathered here today. Uh, 20, 25 years ago, diagnosis of cancer so many years, the latest techniques are available, uh, the latest screening techniques are available and a very small lesion can be diagnosed very, very early and it is the right time to actually stress at the launch of a high-tech sector, which is the way we are talking about. Uh, it gives me immense pleasure on behalf of Clinical's Global Health City to welcome all of you and uh, kickstart the proceedings on the launch of this sector. Uh, may this uh, also spread the message of getting early diagnosis and screening of cancer among all of us. Thank you very much. overcome COVID. I mean, very energetic, very fantastic man. Second time sharing the stage with him. And I'm still happy that, that he agreed to launch this program and then come on the rest. So I'll briefly talk about what is uh, HIPEC, uh, what do we do in cytotic surgery in HIPEC. So surgery is a common treatment for many abdominal cancers, but something surgery alone cannot treat all cancers. So early disease, yes, but in advanced disease, what we call this peritoneal carcinomatosis or peritoneal surface malignancies, you need something more. So specialized complex procedure called cytotic surgery, that's extensive surgery in the abdomen with hypothermic, that is heated format of intraperitoneal chemotherapy agent given the specialized dedicated machine, which runs for one hour, one and a half hours inside the abdominal cavity, cures most of the cancers, and uh, I'll tell you what are the cancers that we deal with. So this is the specialized machine that we use, a high-tech machine. So, so wherever it is being used, which are cancers it's being used is ovarian cancer. That is a recurrent ovarian cancer. Most of the time, the ovarian cancer have a tendency to recur after your initial treatment. So recurrent ovarian cancers and some primary ovarian cancers, they are large. And the stages, third stage, we give hyper treatment. And appendicular cancer is a very unique cancer called pseudomyxoma peritoneum or appendicular neoplasm, where uh, the cytotic surgery in HIPEC is the only best treatment available as of now to cure patients. And colorectal cancer, uh, colonic cancer, rectal cancer, when they are spread to the peritoneal cavity, not spread anywhere else in the body, this is one of the best treatment available. Gastric cancer, that's stomach cancer. And primary peritoneal cancer, where you don't find the primary, but the entire peritoneum is involved. And malignant peritoneal mesothelium is a very, very rare condition. So these are all the conditions where this treatment is being offered and being used. So the patient selection criteria is the performance status of the patient has to be good. And uh, we call this, we have various scores, VCOG1 or 2. And the patients have low disease burden. I mean, there's not an academic uh, forum, so I don't want to get into the details of the TCA index, all that. But usually the, the volume of disease is uh, read from 0 to 30. These patients do better with this form of treatment. So surgery, what we do is we do surgery for 6 to 8 hours <coughs> to resect all the tumors within the abdominal cavity and the, all the visible tumors are removed. Sometimes we may resect some of the organs like stomach, rectum, uh, appendix, gallbladder, up to the uterus, ovaries. And after you completely resected it, then you go for a hypothermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy with a specialized dedicated machine. So what is the advantage of this intraperitoneal chemotherapy? That's the chemotherapy given inside the abdomen during surgery is it delivers high dose of chemotherapy directly to the cancer cells and the high penetration of chemotherapy because the dose given is more than compared to given in intravenous and single dose therapy and very fewer side effects and single sitting surgical removal of disease with chemotherapy 
and significantly increase the survival of advanced cerebral cancer patients. I tell you the survival is you know, all these patients otherwise don't get scared. If you are not treated with this, they will not live for more than one year or maximum one and a half years for the treatment. But with this uh, CRS high pack which you have been doing, most of the patients live for more than five years. So the 50 percent, uh, the 50 percent of them live for more than five years, and rest of them may live for three years, five years, or more than that. So definitely, there is added to the surgical ornamentorium of cancer surgery and the oncology treatment. This is one of the videos where you see the disease. The disease is so much. All the dots are disease, all the white uh, sticks are disease. It will be all over the abdomen. But it will be scary to look at any previously 10 years back, 15 years back, even in now, today, some of the centers, they will close the abdomen and come out. But here we know that we are going to deal with this kind of disease. So we already know that the disease is going to be like this. And we do the surgery, at the end of it, the abdomen looks so clean like this. We have resected the organ the right colon and we have done the anastomosis of the small bowel to the transverse colon and the entire disease is removed now it is very clean so there is no disease left out so all the peritoneal layers are removed peritoneal layers are nothing but the paint of the wall so you have to remove the entire painted layer of the wall and after this the abdomen is lifted up and then the inner tube is made in, there is one inner tube and one outer tube where through the inner tube the medicine goes in, the outer tube the medicine comes out, it gets circulated in the machine, the uh, dedicated high tech machine. And we call it a semi open technique. We put an offset, a plastic kind of cover, to close it to maintain the temperature. It's a kind of Indian way of doing it to reduce the cost. So this much of tumor is removed and hypothermic chemotherapy is given. And most of the patients do well. And all over the world the average hospital stays around 22 days. But in our setup, we have been doing for the last 10 years, and the average hospital stay is only 12 days. And uh, we have not lost any patient in the immediate post operative period. Uh, this is the survival benefits. As I told you, otherwise, these patients would live for only 12 months. So they all live for more than uh, 5 years now. So we have been uh, encouraged by the patient's results. And we have been doing more and more uh, high tech uh, treatment and uh, we are launching it after finishing and more than 100 cases. So normally people launch it and then they start doing it. Here because uh, it is kind of initially experimental therapy, we wanted to make sure that the survival is good and then we are, we are launching it after 5 years actually. This is the experience with pseudomyxoma peritoneum and the ovary and uh, colorectal cancers and various uh, rare indications. So most of them, the results are pretty good. And we select the patients very carefully and proper patient selection and counseling. And this multidisciplinary approach, we have a surgical team, I mean a time a surgical team for because the entire surgery goes on for 10 hours. So we start at 8 o'clock and finish at 8 o'clock. So the entire surgical team is uh, geared up. And uh, surgical team includes my uh, surgeons, anesthesia team, intensive care team, my staffs, OT technicians, everyone involved in this. Everyone are dedicated and medical oncology team led by Dr. Prabhu and radiology, pathology, anesthesiology, paramedical stuff. Everyone is involved and for next 5-6 days everybody is cleared up. So it is not that one time event and then not galvanic surgery or appendicular surgery where can, it can leave the situation and go. So I really thank the entire team and the global team for the dedicated post-operative care and pre-operative nutrition. So this is the intraoperative picture. This is my team, it's only half of the team. There's a lot, of, lot more people involved in this. In the dedicated hyper machine. And there's an animated video. I'll just show you a small animated video so that people will understand what is uh, hyper therapy.
doctors begin with what is called cytoreductive surgery to remove all visible tumors in the abdominal area. The extent of the surgery depends on the findings during surgery. Surgery can involve the removal of tumors in the upper and lower abdominal area, on the omentum, on the liver, stomach, small intestine, colon, rectum, pancreas, spleen, appendix, uterus, ovaries, and the peritoneal surfaces. Surgery to remove tumors is thorough and aggressive with the goal of preserving organs whenever possible. The doctor carefully examines the abdominal region quadrant by quadrant, searching for and removing tumors. With great care, the doctor uses highly specialized surgical techniques to strip the tumors from the peritoneal surfaces and organs and seal small blood vessels. All of the visible tumors are removed. <coughs> Next, the doctor administers the high pack for heated chemotherapy treatment with the goal of killing any remaining cancer cells that cannot be seen. Tubes and temperature probes are placed into the abdominal cavity. The doctor briefly closes the skin of the abdomen with sutures. The abdominal cavity is flooded with a solution that includes chemotherapy drugs. This solution is heated. The tubes and probes are connected to a machine. This controls the temperature and flow of the solution. The heated chemotherapy solution is continuously circulated throughout the abdominal cavity so that the cavity is uniformly exposed to heat and chemotherapy. The combination of heat and chemotherapy causes the solution to kill microscopic cancer cells. Gentle shaking is applied to the abdomen to help the solution distribute to all surfaces within the abdomen. Following the high-tech treatment, the fluid is drained from the abdominal cavity. The abdomen is reopened and the tubes and probes are removed. At this time, any necessary reconstructive surgery is performed. For example, the doctor may need to reconnect a resected colon. Finally, the doctor closes the abdominal incision. The surgery and high-tech treatment together may take 6 to 12 hours to complete. This uh and we have done, uh, we have started doing robotic surgery in the last four, five months. We have completed almost 60 cases. Hi. And we have done one of the CRS high tech with robotic without opening the abdomen. That may be the first uh, patient, the 80 years old lady with the uh, cancer of the ovary. And uh, maybe first of its kind, uh, we don't know whether they have done anywhere else in the world, but we want to document it. Want to see the survival of the patient, probably we will document it a little later. Uh, once again, I thank you, Mr. Radhakrishnan, for coming over here and inaugurating. And uh, thank everyone in the auditorium for patient listening. Thank you. Years of age, Actually, now that I thought I was like putting on weight, I said it's super best. I just thought about it. And I don't know the symptoms may be Actually, I didn't have any other symptoms, so I was working uh, with uh, an IT firm in Coimbatore, uh, and I was going for gym, working on Ella Panitana, so I never thought it was going to be this big disease. So at one point, I had a little bit of uh, uh, stomach ache in the so later, and a gynecologist went to check for the body, and I identified Panitana, and I was in a like, I didn't know about this hospital, I didn't know anybody here. And I was in the hospital in the hospital. And I didn't know anybody other than Dr. Rajasunam and his team of doctors. 
and uh, and from then on they became my superheroes, I should say, especially Dr. Raja Singham and uh, 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 Mr. Nadar, Dr. Ram Prabhu and their team like uh, Dr. Madhuri Ma and Dr. Vimala Aditya and Uma Shantar who were then my superheroes and forever will be my superheroes in Asura Rahena. Every day they used to come, they used to tell the procedures. Even once they diagnosed uh, Dr. Raja Sundar and Ram Prabhu gave so much of uh, courage to me. And Avlo Dairiya Soli, in the Sonami, in the Mari, you have gone through so much, like you, you have, your, your disease has spread up so much, but you will not worry about it. Nanga Pantu Prom. But as usual, so I was like, the entire family, my husband, my daughter, my sister, my mom, everybody were like totally traumatized. So um, I would say it's like completely God's grace that uh, my gynecologist recruited me to doctors uh, Rajas Guru and Ram Prabhu. In the video, the complete video was like, uh, was performed on me. Like the entire animated video, you could take me as an example because the entire high effect surgery was suggested by Dr. Raja Sundaram to my husband and uh, I was like totally lost in Lingla. And my husband told Lila doctors in a complete number and they will do their best in Sultan. So we completely trusted the doctors and uh, here I am totally all right now and uh, and throughout my treatment, uh, and, like throughout my treatment the entire team of doctors is so supportive. And over the day, and when the doctors, when the being a spiritual healer, you see, na divert pani na mind na bin nariya. Na when the Ram Prabhu sir alam kelly kete the kalavi illa. The amount of questions I've tortured them with like too much. Every day I get so many questions in my mind. Na idu kapra every idu kapora. My daughter was in ninth standard. Na every na when the family path kapora. What will happen? I'm these questions in the. But now, uh, like my daughter is into college, other I mean, park rena is purely because of them. And uh, our family ki immense support so too, because in Amma, she was aged, and my sister, our family with it, and my husband, they used to tell them words of courage, like, we performed the best surgery called HIPEC. So, we complete an Allah in Vanga, so we were like blindly trusting the doctors, and uh, by God's grace, I was rooted to the right hospital, right the doctors. So, and uh, I'm like, I'm like totally all right now. Slow, it's like, it's like three years now and I'm like uh, looking completely normal, like a normal person. And many of my family and friends don't even know that I uh, got a disease called cancer. Uh, though I was like diagnosed almost closer to the last stage, I'm like perfectly all right now. And I would like to give this courage to every one of uh, the uh, people sitting here on my friends, family, everyone. Like uh, if we are at the right place at the right time, we can uh, definitely get out of this disease. And at night, yoga ponga, exercise ponga, and doctors so naga. So other base pani, nikna other lam pani. In the last two months back, na Himalayas poet or na Himalayas poet. Then one of that was one of my one of my bucket list. And so na ango poet or under the, I was really praying for them because our lal na ini can surviving doctors and my family. So thank you so much, doctors, for making me get through all this. And anybody, I would say, please don't panic. We are not biased. I think we have the right medical treatments today. So in our right place, la, under the doctor, na, the doctors will definitely take care of us. I was blessed to be at their care, so I am like thankful to them. Thank you so much, doctors. Thank you for your support. October 2017 it was decided and November 2017 
the surgery was performed which lasted for 8 hours from morning to evening. And she was, uh, wife was discharged, eighth day, ninth day she was discharged from here. Third day so she started walking. Uh, it's all because of the, the doctor's uh, treatment and the other team of doctors also took care of me, my wife, daily, morning and evening, anytime they'll be coming, they gave so wonderful, heart-touching words which made my wife uh, to come out of the fear. Of course, once you have the fear, psychologically, we can come out. So here, first we have to take out the fear in our mind. So that itself will be a great help and it will help the patient to come out of this disease. And now, uh, it was performed in 2017 and now almost uh, five, five years is over and now she's in sixth year. Absolutely, there is no problem at all. Only thing, every quarterly we meet doctor as per his advice and every year we uh, she undergoes pet seat everything. Absolutely, the result, everything is smooth. She is absolutely fine now. Of course, now she is not in Chennai. She has been relocated to Mysore because of the temperature. Because she is not able to bear the heat of Chennai. So that's one of the main reasons she relocated to Mysore, which is our native place. Absolutely, she is doing fine. Of course, every quarter we come and meet uh, doctors and go as per his advice. Last but not least, it is God's grace. She is surviving and the uh, Doctors, Dr. Rajasandra, really we must be very thankful to Doctor and his team, everyone, the sisters who help the, the patient, everything. In fact, uh, Doctor used to recommend uh, other patients to get the feedback from my wife so that uh, she can share her experience. That itself will give a boost for them not to have any fear. So, my wife is absolutely fine. She is doing well. She is taking care of all her work. Nothing is, she is not depending on anything. And she is fine. Nothing to say. So I thank once again Dr. Rajasundram and his team for the wonderful support and taking care of us. Thank you all. I have no symptom regarding cancer. Uh, I am a civil engineer I'm working in Dhaka after two years. Uh, when it was detected, then my daughter. Uh, she is very much with uh, familiar with Raja Shudram sir and other, other all doctors, technologists, nurse. And I express my attitude to my doctor, Raja Shudram sir and Ram Prabhu sir. Actually, here uh, there are Behavior, cooperation, inspiration is too high. Actually, uh, I check with Thailand and Singapore uh, for this treatment, but my doctor communicated with Raja Sundaram sir. At the time, uh, I was not in uh, very good condition. Then, here, I was came here and take treatment. And everybody very much coverage. But uh, I don't feel I'm staying in outside the country. But all are very good coverage. Very good and coverage. And treatment plan is very smooth. But surgical time I stay in hospital 17 days. Uh, then every time, Radha Sundaram sir came here, Mathuri and Anuradha and other doctor, I remember. I always remember. My court is uh, actually here uh, three times I came here. But the treatment, I express uh, all good expression to my pain, my society, that actually uh, it is not uh, any fear. The doctor of India is to hire the treatment process and other thing is very good towards the patient. Especially in inspiration of Radha Shundaram sir, is too high. Uh, and I remember all my life, and then my family also prayed the, when detected this cancer. Then after this treatment, seven months treatment, it became, I think, uh, Almighty Allah gave me 
ways for the remaining life to Rajar Sundar Sir and Ram Prabhu Sir and other gentlemen, doctors, technologists, Rishra and Dr. Rishra and others. Uh, this is my good memory and uh, I give all my thanks to all. Uh, thank you, everyone. Sarah Isaac. 